Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the COD Radiant interface. So execute COD Radiant by double clicking on your shortcut and we'll check out the interface. When you open it, if this entity window opens, just press N and it'll close. Now let's look at your windows. So this is your COD Radiant interface. The big grid in the middle is your 2D view. This is where you'll see the blueprints for your structures. This is your 3D window where you'll see what it looks like in game. This is your textures window. This is where you will see all the different textures you can apply to your brushes. This is the information window. It shows you the um, what's going on in Radiant. This is your height editing window. Now, to make a structure or brush in your 3D window, just press left mouse button and hold it and drag out for your brush. To move in the 2D window, you just hold your right mouse button and you can move all around. Same in the 3D window. Okay, forward, backwards, left, and right. Now if you want to move up and down, just press and hold control while you're doing it. You can press A to look up, Z to look down, Um, I'm going to close these windows because I don't use them. A better height editing way, way to, better way to edit your height is to press Control Tab, and it changed from X Y top to X Z front, and now you can change the height and the width. Press. Control tab again, now you move to the X, the Y, Z side, where you can also control the height and the length. I'll do this side, there we go. See, now you got a big structure, big box. Okay, um, press it again, you go back to your X, Y top. Now, this thing right here. This is your camera. So when I move my camera in the 3D window, it disappears and moves over where you're looking. So this is what you're seeing right now. Um, so let's move on to the textures. Oh, actually, let's move on to some shortcut keys. You can zoom in and out with your um, mouse wheel. If you want to duplicate this brush, just press spacebar and you can move it. Um, if you want to delete a brush, just press backspace. To select a brush, hold shift and select it in the 2D or the 3D window. To deselect a brush, just press escape. Okay. Okay, so now let's move on to some of these buttons up here. Maximize this so we can see all the buttons. All of these buttons do something. I'm only going to show you a handful, but you can figure out all the rest for yourself. So, um, this one right here is the clipper tool. You press this, and you're able to clip the box to wherever you want. Now we press escape to deselect it and forget what it did. You have to press it again. We'll do a little bit more. You can press enter to save it. Press control Z to undo. Let me do it one more time. Press shift enter and it saves both. Now you're able to move both. Uh, let's see. Next would be next would be the hollow tool. This tool right here. Now it hollows it out. So now you can get inside and select each wall, single, by itself. This one is the CSG subtract. So say you had a box like this and you want
wanted a door there. That's where you want a door. You press the CSG subtract. Now delete the box, and now you got a door. It's an easy way to get doors and things like that. Um, now we have some buttons right here that select. They're select select buttons. If you select all of your map, everything, and then press this button right here, it selects everything inside of it. Each one does something different, like it tu everything touching it, or everything that the box is inside of, or you know, and everything that's not touching it. Um, now you can rotate. You can rotate boxes back and forth with these buttons. So you can rotate it on its Z axis, its Y axis, and its X axis. And then you can flip it on its X axis, its Y axis, and its Z axis. And then you have your open and save buttons. Now with the grid, as you can see, I'm at a 8 by 8 here. That's like a 4 grid. That's actually the 8 grid on the 4 number. Now you change it to 1. You can come all the way in here, and it'll be 1 grid. See? That's for very fine-tuned features and stuff like that. And then you can go to 512 grid which is really huge. See how big that is? That's your uh, 512 grid. Um, shortcut keys are just your number buttons, so grid 4, 3, 2, 1, and so on and so forth. Now, let's move on to some textures. So right now you have this blue texture. That means that it's untextured and there and you need to texture it. In COD, it'll be like a black thing meaning there's no texture there. So to select the whole brush, just press shift and select it. Now it selects the whole brush for editing. Deselect it and press control shift and then click one side. That one side will be edited along with anything else you click only those sides will be changed. That's nice to know for different sides like you wanted the inside of one wall, one texture and the outside of one wall, another texture. So let's move on to finding our textures. So we want this wall to be textured as an outside color. So you go to textures and then we'll go down to Normandy and we'll go walls. And then your texture window here it will come up with all the textures in that thing. So just select this wall. So now that whole wall is textured that color. So now let's do the same thing to this side, but let's do it only this wall, this side of the wall. Now we change the inside to this one. See? Isn't that very nice? Now, as you might see, you have this overlapping right here. You have two brushes that are intertwined. So just press Control tab to view it. An easy way to do it is to just bring that up one. But then you have to texture this side if your ground's lower. So a nice, easy, advanced way to edit walls is just press V and then it brings up the vertices and just make it a diagonal shape. Press V again and then escape. Do the same for this one. Oops. And now you'll have no more problems with that and your wall texture goes all the way down to the bottom of the ground. So we can texture this. See how it's, it's diagonal right there. So that shows you textures, buttons, your interface. I hope you um, learned a lot and enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back with more tutorials soon.